It's my pleasure to welcome you to this centennial edition of the Susan Marshall Memorial Concert. All year during the centennial celebration, we've taken the opportunity to look back at the history of our premier concert and lecture series. The Susan Marshall Concert is certainly one of those and is one of the highlights of every school year. To me, the Susan Marshall Concert is so important because it highlights the centrality of the arts and particularly music to the North Shore experience. That's something that we work very hard to enshrine in everything that we do. And the concert is a great opportunity each year for students JK to 12 to be exposed to amazing artists. So I hope you enjoy this look back at how the concert was founded and some of the performers who have made such an impact on our students over the years. Enjoy. Good morning. Every year there is a special concert in memory of Susan Marshall, class of 76. Her parents told us a lot about her and about the concerts. Lots of Susan's family went to NSCDS, including her mom. Susan came here in middle school. She started in sixth grade, and her sister, next oldest, started as a freshman, and Bucky started as a sophomore, and Alice started as a junior. But I started in kindergarten, and then I didn't come back till seventh grade. Who was Mrs. Marshall's favorite teacher? Here's a hint. Music. Uh, my favorite teacher was Ramsey Duff, who was, once again, the music department. I learned a lot about music from him. In fact, enough that I didn't have to take a couple of basic music courses in college. Susan graduated from North Shore in 1976. Susan was very musical. She played more than one instrument. She played two instruments, basically, violin and piano. We wondered which instrument she liked to play better, piano or violin. I think it really was the violin, but whenever she was angry, things weren't going well. She'd come and she'd play the piano as loud as she could. <laughs> and when she got into uh, Dartmouth, she really wanted to go, and she knew she had to do something kind of special because her grades weren't perfect. And so she played the piano and sang. She'd been in Zangerbund and all the different singing groups here. So that's sort of how she got in, but her real love was the violin. Besides playing different instruments, Susan liked different kinds of music. She liked all kinds of music. Uh, she liked classical music. She liked jazz. She used to play some Scotch Joplin on the piano. And uh, later on in life, she had a boyfriend who played in a band. And she took her violin and she made it into a country western kind of thing and electrified it and played it that way. So she, she, did, she had classical training originally. We asked Mr. and Mrs. Marshall who Susan's favorite musician was. Oh, I'm going to say Mozart, but that's the uh, uh, favorite musician. Mozart. Mozart. Yeah, we agree. Susan liked to do other things besides music. She liked to chase butterflies. I know that. <laughs> uh, we called her our little butterfly. Um, she liked sports. She liked baseball. Uh, she liked to take pictures. We have. She liked to travel. She went to uh, China. Well, actually, to uh, Taiwan. Taiwan when uh, she was in college, and we have some pictures that she took there of rice paddies that are very nice. Well, she liked boys. Would you believe that? No. <laughs> Since Susan liked music so much, having a concert each year was a good way to remember her. Well, we did it, and you know, and in her memory, it just as a, a token of, you know, keeping her her name alive with her friends. To see the music at North Shore, which was very special to me and very special to her, was to continue. And you all have said you enjoyed the concerts. Well, that means you got to hear something a little bit different than uh, 
an awful lot of people get to hear. So that was, that was what we wanted to do. The Sousa and Marshall concert performers are very young and talented. Different people have helped the Marshalls find special musicians. It's when it first started, when we first started having yes. the concert, Ed Gordon was the head of Ravinia, and he was a good friend of mine. And so he got us some really super-duper young artists that had nobody would heard of, and uh, they've now become quite famous, as you probably looked at when you saw on the wall. In a recent phone interview, former head of school Tom Dorr shared his memories of the Marshall family and of the Susan Marshall Memorial Concert Series. Mr. and Mrs. Marshall were very thoughtful, uh, genuine people. Uh, Mrs. Marshall was a nurture grad, and um, they, uh, they, they took pride in the establishment of the concert and their support, philanthropic support of North Shore. And we're pretty matter-of-fact about um, this is something we believe in, this is something we want to do. Uh, they weren't looking for necessarily acknowledgement. Uh, they would kind of deflect, um, not, not in an uncomfortable way, but it was about it was about our students, and it was about the school. And, and so we, we had kind of this collective sense of pride that I think we felt Oh, I think it's a, a wonderful um, gift to the school that we could give in, in memory of, of Susan um, to enable the tradition of music to continue. Um, we feel that music is a very important part of life, and it was a very important part of my time at North Shore, and we wanted to keep that tradition going for the future. After performing a concert during Morning X, Susan Marshall performers visit with students in their classrooms throughout the day. Mr. Doris shared a story of one confused lower school student during a classroom visit. A young woman who played the trumpet, if, I, if I'm correct, so it was, mm -hmm. you know, rather than the strings or piano, it was a, it was a brass instrument, and she was terrific, and she was young, and, and um, as you, I think, know, part of the routine was after the performance, the, the musician would be kind of steered around the school and they would meet with the upper school chorus and they'd have meet with some of the music students in the upper school and they'd, they'd sit down with the lower school and middle school. And at one point, a musician, it might have been this young woman, was in the first grade and talking to the first graders. And um, the teacher asked the kids if they had any questions, and one little boy raised his hand and said to the musician, can you pull a rabbit out of your hat? And the musician said, what? And the boy said, can you pull a rabbit out of your hat? And the teacher all of a sudden said, no, no, Jimmy. We said musician, not magician. Throughout the 1980s, visiting performers would sometimes stay at the home of then headmaster Dick Hall. Mr. Hall shared his memory of violinist Peter Winograd's visit and his Susan Marshall concert performance in 1998. And then let me tell you this story because I think you'll enjoy it. Peter Winograd uh, is a um, violinist. During that year, we had a student living with us who was a music student at the, at the music center. David Boroshansky, his name was, and he's a very talented uh, violinist. And he was coming from a long way from Denison University where his father taught coming every week for a uh, lesson, and that's a long way. And so um, we ended up um, that he stayed with us, and we had a, a wonderful year. He was a terrific, uh, terrific kid and a, and a great member of our family. And that was great. And so um, I believe uh, that um, Peter Winograd stayed with us, I'm sure, in the same house and got to know David. We had, or they hatched up, I guess, a plan for Morning X before they started. Uh, what Peter would do would be to stand up and introduce himself and talk a little bit and then say, you know, I can teach any student how to play the violin. And he, and he asked for volunteers. Well, you know, at Morning X, you ask for volunteers and every hand goes up. So he uh, pointed out and he chose, of course, David. So as David went to get up onto the stage, you heard the groans from all of his classmates who figured out what was going on. And then 
And then uh, David picked up the violin and uh, started to put it up to his chin to play and had the the um, the bow going the wrong way, uh, upside down. And of course, everybody laughed. And then they played, I think it was a Bach double they played in, and, um, and everybody was uh, sort of dazzled by that. So that was kind of a, a nice spirit to the kind of, um, rather than, you know, having just a performer come in, play, and leave, the spirit of that kind of um, sort of North Shore sense of uh, humor and community was, uh, was pretty good. Benji De La Fuente, class of 1993, spoke with us about how it felt to come back as an alumni performer when he gave a Susan Marshall concert in 2008. It was pretty, um, it was a very full day. It was a very kind of uh, emotionally intense experience and a very personal one just because I remember very clearly kind of being out on that stage and looking immediately in front of me and seeing the seniors with the kindergartners with them. And, you know, realizing, not being surprised that, you know, this is really the same place that, you know, it, it had been. I mean, I guess it's a full 15 years after I graduated, but that, you know, seeing it that way and seeing a lot of familiar faces among the faculty, it was, uh, it was like coming home. Even though, the, even though the theater had been redone by that time, it's still the same place. And, I mean, I, I do remember a bit of, you know the, the experience of, of performing itself is there's just a million a million things going on kind of in your mind at the, at the same time but I, I remember very clearly just trying to remain focused on on kind of the <laughs> on the recital itself rather than kind of getting caught up so much in the memories of being on that stage and the memories of being taught by people who were there Michael was there still Grayo and uh, you know just just being amidst it was really, it was pretty overwhelming. I mean, the rest of the day was great because, you know, Jocelyn, the pianist who, who performed with me, she and I got to spend, you know, have, have lunch with students and, um, you know, spent time with the chorus. I got to spend time with the chorus and I think they did Pirates that year, which they did, um, which we did when I was a sophomore. So I guess it would have been 90, 91. Um, and so it was a real treat to kind of meet the students and then kind of go with Linda through um, and visit classes and in the lower school and, and get a tour of, of the school. It really was um, in, in a lot. And also, you know, like there were, I met kids that day who were the children of people that I went to school with and people who I, you know, classmates and, um, and other uh, alumni who I went to school with were, were also in attendance, you know. So it was really overwhelming, you know, in, in all the best ways. It was a blur. Like the, the day went by so quickly and it was just kind of from the moment that I arrived to kind of the to, to when I left in the afternoon, it was just, um, you know, was, the, the entire thing, you know, the, 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 the recital, I guess, was what all of the students got to see, right? And obviously that was the centerpiece of, of the day. And, but for, for me, the entire day was an event. And, um, and it was really special. It was, it, was, it, was, it was a unique experience. If I were a rich man, all day long I'd pity, pity bum. If I were a wealthy man, World-renowned harpsichordist Tori Vinicure, class of 1981, was honored as the Susan Marshall Concert Performer in 1994 and has returned to Morning X many times since. He shared his memories of being a student at North Shore and the importance of exposure to classical music at an early age. And I was already studying uh, basically next door or on, on the campus of uh, North Shore Country Day School with Emilio Del Rosario at, at uh, the North Shore Music Center, as it was known at the time. Um, <laughs> and as a kind of anecdotal memory, um, I began, and I'm a little bit ashamed to say this because the gym teacher, Mac, I only know him as Mac, was such a wonderful guy, but I began ditching gym class nearly immediately to go 
practice at the music school. Uh, and this is something that one could have never gotten away with at a public high school. And I think when Mac found out that I was, you know, hardly going off to smoke cigarettes in the parking lot, but going off to practice classical piano, I, uh, after nearly failing Jim for the first trimester, the second trimester, I just received an excuse <laughs> just without having ever asked it. So I felt very, very encouraged and supported in my endeavors as a musician. I'm playing an unusual classical instrument, but I see this at North Shore Country Day School. Each time I've been, especially for these more casual morning X things, the kids are very, very curious. The young people are avid for new experiences, new information. Um, so for them to be exposed to these new things, which they don't necessarily hear every day, they don't hear in their own radio experience, I think it's so valuable. Wendy Warner, class of 1990, returned to campus as the 1993 Susan Marshall concert performer. Today, she is an internationally acclaimed cellist. We spoke with her about her experiences with the Susan Marshall concert, both as a student and a performer. Yeah, I heard um, Gary Hoffman when he came. That was, what, 1986? Yeah. So he, uh, and then actually he ended up giving a master class. So I got to play for him, and that was the first time I ever got him and played for him. And... Um, I just remembered he had just won the roster Povich competition. Wow. So his, he had all this repertoire under his fingers and he just rattled it off like it, you know, it's just so easy and so polished. And I, I think he even, I remember he played Dance of the Elves by Popper, which is a really fast, difficult piece of <laughs> You know, when you're 14 and you want to, you're thinking of becoming a professional cellist, and then somebody, you know, is right there in your hometown, and you know, it's just, <laughs> it was very inspiring, and I, he was so nice to me, and I got to talk to him, and um, and then it was really funny because in 1990, I won the Russian Forwards competition when I was 18, so that was kind of, and then you know, and then I remember. I saw him in Washington. He was playing with the orchestra. Before I went to Paris for the competition, he said, oh, don't wait. You're young. You have plenty of time. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. You don't need to, you don't need to win. And, and I remember thinking, I'm not young. 18's not young. Exposure is, it's not, you know, you, you can work very hard. That's always important, you know, practice, 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 practice. Um, but exposure is just as, as important. So going to recitals, going to high-level recitals, like Susan Marshall concerts, you know, that's a rare opportunity. You don't get that high level of playing just right in your own school. Like very few schools have something like that, and it's just right in your own backyard. So going going to something like that is as valuable as practicing in your practice room being exposed to great playing great artists great musicians you can go downtown to chicago symphony sure but how lucky are you to have something like that right in your own hometown well i i have the same hope that i had first established it and that is that it will um, take on a life of its own and I think it has um, people are years from now people are not going to remember Susan there's still people there now that remember her but um, that won't be the case in future years and that's fine with us what we would like is just to maintain the tradition of 
having music at the school and introducing people to um, introducing people to classical music and how it's performed. And my brother had a, a very interesting point when he said that if you're a lifer, you will have had the chance to have heard probably 13 Susan Marshall concerts and, and have heard many, many different instruments, and it would give you a great feel for um, classical music. Thank you.